What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tanya, and welcome to Katora Tarot. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you'd like to know about me and this channel will be down in the description below. Also, I do this for entertainment purpose only, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. i also like you to know that no weapon formed against me shall never, ever prosper. I am protected by the Most High God and my team of spiritual warriors of the highest light. My ancestors don't play about me, so please, for your safety, don't try it. On that note, I like to call in your warriors, my warriors, and the Most High God to this reading so I could get clear, accurate channel messages. Please and thank you. What's up, guys? Um, let's get into the reading. Let's see what ancestors want us to know this moment in this time in this space. Okay. Somebody's crying. It could be tears of joy. But I also see two people crying. I see a female crying, but I'm getting tears of joy. I'm seeing a male figure cry also, but it's more of disappointment, greed. And also I see a black cloud over that person's head. Huh. Hmm. And sister is very, very, very proud of you. Very proud of you. You literally passed some type of test they had you on. Unknown to you, you didn't know you was being tested by your ancestors. And you passed with flying colors. Something is coming in for you, a gift. I don't know if it's a physical gift or a spiritual gift. But it's coming in. It's going to make you very happy. It's going to also help you on your journey moving forward is what I'm hearing. Your energy at this point could be up and down. But... I'm hearing that your ancestors urge you to stay in a very, very, very high vibrating energy and to let go of any worries and fear because you are well taken care of. Whatever you seek, it's already taken care of. They got you. They don't want you to stress over nothing Unnecessary worry is useless for you. Also, see, your ancestors has got whips in their hand. But the whips are clearly not for you. It may be for this, um, this male figure I'm seeing. They're very disappointed in this male figure. I'm getting family member. They gave this family member numer numerous of opportunity to make some something wrong right again and they refused to because they didn't want to be seen in a particular light by people. <laughs> hey. Okay now. <laughs> And because they refuse to, it's a black cloud around them. It's like no matter where they go, it's just a dark shadow around them. Mm. Okay, somebody want me to talk this truth. I work for the most high and nobody else. <sighs> wow. I'm also seeing another male figure also crying, but it is tears of blood. I don't know what that means. 
tears of blood. Hmm. Meanwhile, you just going about your business, making sure that you stay in a very happy state of mind, not allowing anything to bother you. If something do occur, you know that it's all the it's for your highest good. It's all a lesson or a blessing in disguise to see it through and not to worry about it. That's the message I'm getting. Something about good luck is on your your side. You're about to come into a season of undeniable abundance. Abundance in every area of your life. Yeah, nurture your harvest. Which is a three. Three is about celebration. So yeah, what's this? The matriarch. You could be the matriarch or, well, the newest generation of matriarch is what I'm hearing. Because this is your ancestor. This ancestor is a matriarch of your bloodline. They, it could be a mother figure, a grandmother. It's protecting you and giving you a spiritual hug unknown to you. You may feel like you get worried over something that you don't see that's going to happen for you. And this matriarch will literally come and give you a hug and instantly that fear that worry that anxiety is just gone wow that's a beautiful energy i'm picking up right there they want you to celebrate and be happy they don't need you to be in no low vibration soft no energy where you worry about where you're going to get this from how you're going to do this how you're going to pay this bill that bill they don't they said that's useless. You are highly covered. Your bills are covered. Your kids are covered. Whatever you seek is covered. You literally went through a season of tests from this ancestor, and you literally passed with flying colors. You're no longer confirmation. You're no longer accepting the bare minimum. You know your worth is what I'm hearing. You know what you bring to the table, and you not trying to uh, receive nothing less than greatness. It's rightfully so. Wow. Yeah, you're getting some type of clarity. Yeah, you're going through a transformation, a change, because this is 32. 32 reduced to a 5. 5 is all about change, transformation, traveling. Um, the butterfly energy is here also. So, you know, butterfly is all about transformation yet again. You're going through a transformation. You passed some tests that you didn't even know you was being tested on. You, you went to the altar and come and asked your ancestors for something at the altar is what I'm hearing. You, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it was granted. You got the clarity that you needed. You seen the, the sign of they hear, they heard what you requested and you literally came, left your altar. I don't know, I'm seeing like within 24 hours, you went back to the altar and you got the clarity that you needed that what what it is that you asked for, it's already yearns, it's happening. They putting in the work to make sure that that you asked of will come through for you. Wow. And we got Mother God, miracles in motion. Yeah, some miracle is coming in for you because you, you again, you passed some tests. You did, 
you did what you had to do. You put yourself first. Whatever this test was, yes, it, it, you was in a, a vulnerable state because you allowed some type of energy into your heart space. But you didn't stay there for too long because you understood what it was, you, you know. And you just got up and channeled that energy into something else. And you're now being recognized for it because four plus two is six. Six is, you know, you know you're going, somebody's coming in to help you. Some, you know, you six is about rep, recognition, balance, choice, harmony. They, yeah, I'm just seeing somebody's coming in unknown to you. You, you might not know this person. That they coming in to help you. Wow. Whatever test your ancestors put you through, you literally passed with flying colors. You didn't even know you was being tested whatsoever. You was just true to you. You didn't act like something that you wasn't. You didn't try to portray yourself as being this. You was just genuine being your best, the best version of yourself in that moment. You pass with flying colors and this matriot of your family is so damn happy for you. I'm getting a mother figure though. <clears throat> Grandmother, mother. They very happy. I'm seeing celebration. They celebrating you in the spirit world. You did have some naysayers, some doubtful spirits around you that, oh, you ain't, you just going to sit there and not do nothing and not believe in yourself and believe in your abilities. You're going to fall back into old habits, old ways of doing, thinking, feeling. And you didn't do that. You did the opposite. You proved these naysayers so wrong. They didn't see your growth, your ability. They didn't see your strength. You didn't either, but you had them ancestors that did see that they wasn't wrong for choosing you is what I'm hearing. They choose the right person to carry on some form of mission. You cleared up something in your blood lineage. So now ancestors to come won't even have to go through that because of you. It only takes one person, one one being, one situation, and you made them very, 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 very proud. I'm getting a deceit mother or deceit grandmother. They literally are being celebrated also in the spirit world because of how they raised you. I'm getting real emotional, but it's like emotional. It's tears of joy. Like I feel this energy feels so beautiful. I don't know how else to express myself. You did something so wonderful and you was just literally being yourself. You didn't fall for the okie doke is what I'm hearing. You stood up when everybody shunned you, when everybody turned their back against you, when all the naysayers, this was gossiping with your name, saying stuff that wasn't even true. You didn't let that bother you. You kept pushing forward. And I'm seeing with all these planets that's in retrograde and going on right now in your life, not even, you, you just, and this lion gates that just, portal that just closed up. You, you, girl, boy, whoever you are, your whole existence is about to change for the better. I'm telling you, I'm, it's, they, it's a party in the spirit world because of you. You freed some ancestors. You freed so much of your ancestors. You, you cleared up so much of your ancestors' karma. You did a lot, and you didn't even, you was just being you. And that's what it takes, you being you, being true to who you are, true to the situation. You wasn't greedy about something, is what I'm hearing. 
You didn't try to take what wasn't yours. You literally was patient. What did you do? Wow. The energy could be strong because of these planets that's going through retrograde right now, especially Saturn. Saturn could be a ruling planet. And you know, Saturn deals with discipline, you know, um, structure and stuff like that. Even your planet is freaking excited for you. You're about to be blessed on beyond your knowing. You, you have no clue how you're about to be blessed. Some form of miracle is going to come in for you. I'm hearing rags to riches. Your grandmother's smiling. I, somebody's grandmother's literally just looking. I see somebody. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Somebody's grandmother's smiling at them. And somebody's mother is smiling at them. They're just very happy with you. You got a grandmother and a mother in the spirit world that's just cheesy. Just very happy. And, you know, they like, that's my grandbaby. That's my child. So, this, you know, if it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, it don't. Because not everybody, mother and grandmother, has, you know, passed away. I'm talking to those who mother and grandmother has passed away. That you literally, they, they royalty. Like, people are praising them in the spirit world because of what you did for them in the physical world. You literally freed ancestors that's not even a part of your bloodline. That's a selfless act right there. You got a lot of ancestors that's not a part of your bloodline. That's like, oh my God. <laughs> they like just grateful to you. You're feeding them. You're burning ancestor money for them. I'm hearing you could burn some more money for them. <laughs> but you burned so much that, and you were so selfish with it. You didn't just burn for a, a particular bloodline. You burned for other bloodlines too. You just literally cracked the crack the code to something by being you by just being selfless you realize you help you you want to help your ancestors and burn for them too but you also understand that it's not only your ancestors that you know did that needs freeing you know so those people that you are connected to you is burning for them too like Say, for example, I'm seeing that you was dating somebody and they passed away. They, um, their mother or father must have passed away. And because you dated, you know, they, they, they child or grandchild, you put their name on the altar and start burning for them too. Wow. You, you, you're not selfish. You're very giving. You're a giving soul. You got a pure soul, a pure heart. You're just made for nothing but love. I'm not saying that you're perfect. No one is. You you did some shit now. But, you know, it's it did. you didn't do the ultimate where you're not pure in the spirit. Because ain't nobody in the physical pure. Not one soul. Not one being. Because this planet is a planet of karma, you know, good good and bad karma. So you signed up for it, but you went beyond what you signed up for is what I'm hearing. You know, if you was assigned to do two, two tasks, you went and did 22 tasks just because... Well, I feel that ain't well, what about this? I feel connected to them even though they not a part of my blood being is let me burn for them let me put some food out for them let me praise them let me clear up the energy for them you know let me help those that's in the physical let me guide them and teach them so that they could start doing the work for their own ancestors so you teach other people that they that they need to start you know 
burning for their ancestors, feeding the ancestors, keeping their, their memory alive. And by you doing that, they start, you know, doing it for themselves, for their bloodline, and they was also able to clear up whatever needed to be cleared up in their bloodline also because of your selfish act. Wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Generosity. Father of Earth. You are a very generous person. Both in both in the physical and in the spirit. And you're about to, it's about to come down, pour on you in the physical. Because so, so above, so below, so within, so without. You are very grateful. You're a grateful soul. You're not selfish whatsoever. Yeah, you're a take charge type of soul. Creatures of the night. So you got animals that's attracted to you. You may be going outside and just see dogs and cats and all different form of animals. It's just literally gravitating to you, your light. And you may be a little afraid just for a quick second because you're like, hold up now. But it's, they not there to be afraid of you. I'm literally seeing a dog. You walking, I see somebody walking. And then out of nowhere, I see a, a baby, I don't know how old, but a young pit bull came out of nowhere. And yeah, it looked intimidated and everything, but the, the pit bull was, you know, rocking. They, they had back and forth like this looking at you and then had a smile on their face and you didn't feel scared. You smiled back and was like, hello, this is what I'm seeing, wow, okay. And then the pit bull just went, turned around and when, went on it on this pit bull ways. <laughs> they just that animal just wanted to greet you. Whoa! And then we got the chiefest strength tested. Didn't I tell you you was going on doing? I just said that. You was going, you was being spiritually tested and you passed with flying colors. I just said that and it came out. Look, eight. Eight deals with abundance. We just had the 888 portal. You may be seeing a lot of 88 or 888, you know, or 818. I'm also seeing that number two or 808. But that all deals with infinity abundance. You will never lack for the rest of your existence. You literally are falling into. A, a whirlpool of money. The wills are in your favor. What you seek is what you're going to get and then some. Look, this is 39. That's reduced to a 3 again. So, yeah, you, you are being celebrated like seriously in the spirit and they need you to be more happy and understand that this journey that you was on is very tough and you pass. Your strength is resilient. You are very a resilient soul. You get through everything and it may feel real heavy at the time and you may feel like you're not going to um, get through it, but you wasn't built for failure. And anything that didn't happen when you want it to happen, it just wasn't meant for it to happen right then and there. It didn't mean that it won't happen later on. Because, again, everything in divine timing. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. You, you, you manifested something during the 888 portal. And it's coming... You, you're going to see it in the next few months is what I'm hearing. Some type of wish that you wish for. And for some of y'all, y'all didn't even ask for a lot of stuff or try to manifest a lot of stuff. But a lot of stuff is coming in for you because of who you are and what you did selflessly. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. You literally, the unknown is here. 44, 
44 may be significant to you. That could be somebody's lucky number. You could look at the uh, spiritual meaning of 44 and see what that means for you and what it, how does it play a role in your life. But what it's like, in, in, ingana, ingama, ingama, ingama means the unknown. You're being poured on. Look at your ancestors and pouring down on you. This is like liquid gold. You about to be a rich mama gemma. I'm telling you, you will never know what lack is ever again. Stuff is being restored back. I'm hearing the balance, the skills are being balanced out for you. That's why miracles is here. You have naysayers who like oh cast you out. <laughs> hey! They they not even half the soul that you are. They ain't even they may have a lot of physical material wealth here, but true wealth lies within. True wealth lies within. True wealth lies within. Meaning that what you put out selfishly, which is what you did, is gonna start manifesting in the physical and you are manifesting the bare minimum I'm hearing, and I'm hearing you need to go big, go even bigger. You know, stuff that you think you will never be able to accomplish or see yourself in that light, in that manner. Start manifesting it like real talk because it's already yearns, literally. It's already yearns. Paths are being cleared up. Some plan, they planning something in the spirit world for you, for it to play out in the physical for you. You deserve this. I'm seeing, didn't I say earlier when I saw the video, I see you crying. You're just crying, but I'm not getting tears of disappointment, tears of joy. I am seeing tears of two other person and a black cloud over them. But that, you know, I feel like they betrayed you. They betrayed your trust. They took advantage of your generosity. But you didn't let that bother you. You didn't let that hold you. I ain't going to be like you hardcore and it ain't, you know. You felt what you felt, and you, if you cried or whatever you did in your in your sacred place by yourself, you let it out, and then you went on with your business, and it this didn't stop you from doing greatness in your life for you or other people. You kept it going, even though you felt like you know, this, this person or these people literally betrayed you. They didn't see, they didn't see the, the, the prosperity in you. They didn't see the growth in you, the love in you. They didn't see you coming, getting through anything. They just seen you as a sufferer because you made a suffered in the beginning of your um, childhood. I'm hearing you literally, your childhood was literally you went through it like I'm saying, whoa, you went through it. And now you're about to be rewarded in your adulthood in in this era, era of your life where you are right now. You are a pure soul. You uh, I'm just seeing a lot of smile, a lot of smile, emotional self care. OK. You literally going to start taking care of yourself better. This hurt that you felt recently, you're going to take that energy that you was pouring into these people that, you know, backstabbed you recently or something happened to you recently that you allow these people in your heart space or this person in your heart space and they disappointed you. You're going to take that energy and you're going to pour it into yourself. I'm hearing you need to meditate more, though. Again, another three. 333 three, three may be significant to y'all. Look that number up for y'all. That's an angel number. Look it up. See what it means for you. Your money's on wipe me down. Real talk. This is 41. This is a generosity card I got earlier. That um, 41 is, is um, five, but look at this. Didn't I say five deals with changes? Um, traveling, transformation, and all that. 
your money your money is about to be changed you literally if you can't really make a bill or know how you're going to pay this bill or buy whatever it is that you need to buy you know i'm here don't worry about that it's taken care of with this miracle card out here you you're going to start stuff is just going to start happening to you and you're going to be slapping yourself like hold up did that really just happen i'm also here and be mindful of your thoughts because whatever you think do come to will come will happen in the physical so that's why they urge you to stay in a high vibration good energy good mood like no matter something seem off and bad don't take it you know to the heart space like that like you know allow it to just flow go by you know you know you're not you know heartless or nothing so you're going to feel what you feel because you are in the physical but understand don't stay in that energy for too long because you, then you're going to start thinking and your thoughts do become reality and you don't want to think something prematurely that's not for your greatest good even though you got these ancestors especially this matron i'm hearing that will intercept whatever it is that's that you're doing unknown to you because you probably hurting because you're just a generous person so they will intercept whatever it is they the most high god has given them the permission to intercept what's not in alignment with you at this moment so you, 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 you highly protected out here. I'm loving this reading, like, seriously. Seriously, this is beautiful. You did a darn thing. And you didn't even know you was being tested on. You just was just being you. You know, people didn't, you know, people doubted you. You got a lot of naysayers that doubted you, but <laughs> you also is putting people life because... You are karma. You are karma to a lot of people. To well, uh, to anybody that come across you, that could be good karma or bad karma. It's up to them how they want to treat you. I'm hearing these these souls that these energy that was you know that betrayed you. When they say once an enemy could never be your friend, when they paint you a picture, don't let them paint you another picture. Because they could talk, you know, you got people that can talk good and trick your mind. And then you, you back believing in them again. So don't do that, you know. accept people for who they are and that's what you're doing you might not it might not be the same because you was hurt but it's a test you was always being tested and certain people just can't come with you they can't celebrate this greatness that's about to happen to you you're literally going from rags to riches it's like a cinderella story Yeah, you've been through hell and back, and you still was humble. You still was peaceful. You still gave love. You still was doing, you know, good out there. You didn't, you know, try to do evil, evil with evil, disloyal with disloyal. You literally, those that was disloyal to you, you repay them with distance, and they will. And I, I'm gonna say this three times: they, you will. And you will, one more time, and you will, <laughs> I'm going to say this, I ain't even going to finish that, but they're going to feel your damn absence, your presence. They, Those who rejected you, those who doubted you, those who was took your, your, your kindness for weakness, those who thought you was naive, they're going to they gonna, they gonna be singing that song, shoulda, woulda, coulda but didn't they're already feeling the loss of you i'm hearing somebody a particular male a family member is really feeling the loss they thought by now you will become crawling back to them <laughs> the fuck do they not know you tuned in tapped in with your ancestors only oh, <laughs> nobody outside of you you ain't crawling or running back to nobody because you know all you need is lies within you 
So it's so it's no need for you to go crawling back to no one that's gonna get, be, you know, pigeon pe pigeon feeding you, giving you scraps and shit. They don't understand you royalty. You have a high rank. You have high ranks in the spiritual world. You literally cleared ancestor blood lineage that ha that's not even a part of your blood lineage. That's how pure of heart, soul, and selfless person you are. That you decided you don't want to only help just your bloodline. You want to help other people's bloodline so that their ancestors could be free too. And you did that. And now you got other ancestors that's rooting for you, that's helping you, that's there with you, walking with you, making sure that nothing stops you. You could be seeing a lot of birds where you go, wherever you walk, especially a particular bird. That could be your spirit guide guiding you. They may go ahead of you to make sure that the path is cleared and you just continue walking, I'm hearing. But if your path not clear, they will literally cause a confusion, a disruption, and you have to redirect your path in another direction because what lies ahead would affect you. And they don't want nothing, absolutely nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing to affect you. You also could be seeing feathers. That's them leaving on clues that they're around you. So if you see a feather on the ground or in your path, pick it up, take it home with you, like real talk, that's your that's your ancestors now and your spiritual team, your spirit guides and stuff, you know, letting you know that they did protecting you, guiding you and all is well. You did you you are a selfless being. You literally not only freed your ancestors, you freed other people ancestors do you know what that mean and now you got other ancestors that's you know protecting you and rooting for you and want nothing but the best of you and anybody that try to come for you is off what they have they not playing about you for real for real you got a, a particular male energy ancestors that's not even fucking with them no more and they you know they team you they mad that they fumbled a bag of you. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful, yo. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message. You literally passed this test. And I'm hearing with flying colors. You didn't you wasn't struggling to pass this test. And you didn't even know you was being tested. You was just literally just being you. I'm hearing some of y'all may have fed the homeless recently. And after you fed them, you felt this spark inside of you. Like a light was dim. But the light, when you fed them, the light just lit up. This is not for everybody. But this is for a particular individual that literally fed, for the, fed the homeless. And after feeding them, one of the homeless person turned around and gave you a gift and was thanking you and pleasing you, not pleasing, yeah, pleasing, um, praising you, sorry, retrograde, praising you. They gave you a gift and you received that gift in good faith. You, you didn't like, mm, you was a standoffish. You didn't, you wasn't, you was just a beautiful soul. That right there earned you so much points. I, I, like, it ain't about a point system, but you did that. I'm telling you. You're changing lives and you don't even know it. You literally changed one particular person's mind. They was real toxic is, is what I'm hearing. And because you came in their presence, they have no choice but to sit in their mess and take stock of their mess and realize you are the best thing that ever happened to them. I'm not getting, well, yes, I am. I was getting, I wasn't also getting um a romantic thing. I was getting more of a friendship, but I also see it in a romantic way too. Some, some ex decide to change the way they ways because of you. And this person, 
was hardcore, like didn't have a heart, like their own mama ain't see them with a heart. They had a a a a, a, a wicked soul, a wicked. It was just an evil person, and you being who you are and how you affected this person in the physical literally changed the direction of where they was heading because where they was heading wasn't good but because you came in at the right time they literally gradually went a different direction a different route a route they would never ever take before you but after you they went that route and just decided to just change their ways and start doing better. You don't understand how grateful this individual ancestor is for you for doing that. Because you're just a messenger, you know? You're, you're not there to really enforce change on these people, but you're there to show them a different way. Because at the end of the day, we all have free will. And they took their free will and decide to change their ways and go in a different direction than they normally would have. And this individual ancestors just want to say thank you. Because this person was destined for greatness. But, you know, the, 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 the energy of this world and all the... The shit that's going on in this world had consumed this person. Literally had this person by a chokehold. But here you go, come just being as pure hearted as you are. Literally was able to have this person to change route. Because they can't intervene. They can't interception to make you go a different route. You have to give them the permission. Unless God say you have the right to, you know, they're going to make sure you stay on that track and do whatever. But to where the free will is involved, they really can't. You have to give the permission. And it was their free will to go the other way. And this person, ancestor, just wanted to say thank you. That's the message I just got. They just want to say thank you. For whoever you are that did that. You you don't even know that you did that. You don't even know the plan that they had for this person's life. Because this person did abort their mission. But I feel like the Most High said, you know what? I'm going to send in one of my soldiers, one of my prized possession, one of my babies in. And I know for a fact they, they could handle it. You know, this person is hardcore. And this person didn't treat you good now. But you was able to change this person's mind. Had this person to see stuff different. Look at it at a deeper meaning and just... You literally helped this person to change their mind, their direction. And now they are able to free other ancestors on that person's bloodline. To do what they was planning to do what what the original plan was they able to go back on on board with it because this person decided to you know you know what i'm tired of that let me go this way and because of that move right there their life is about to be better yes they may go through some you know karmic shit because they did a lot but it's not gonna stop them from doing the work that they was that they were sent here to do, you helped them to decide that to to move in that direction, and and they ancestors just want to tell you, thank you. You are highly loved, highly respected, and highly protected on both ends, both your ancestors and their ancestors. You are peace. You are their peace. Peace is stored upon you. Wherever you go, you just want that peace. You want everybody to feel peaceful. You know? 
You may look in the mirror I'm hearing and you may see a different version of yourself than what other people actually see you as. So the way people see you is not really how you look. You, you got such a pure heart. Look at this cat right here. Protection. <laughs> Highly protected. I'm here and look in the mirror and do more affirmation. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am abundance. Money is my friend. You know, money is my birthright. Like, I am gorgeous. I am smart. I am intelligent. I am resilient. I am calm. I am collected. I am patient. I am understanding. I see who I am and I love who I am. You're grateful. You're a grateful soul. Tolerance. You, toler you tolerated a lot. A whole lot. And you are about to be rewarded for your patience, for your tolerance. You're about to be rewarded for it. You are. <laughs> your aura is love. It's truth. You're made from pure love. When you come around, you exude the truth. People may not want to share their truth or live in their truth. But when you come around, you make them face their self is what I'm hearing. You make them look in the mirror and want to be truthful with themselves is what I'm hearing. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. Let me get one last one. That's beautiful. That is just a, ooh, just very proud of you. Solitude. Some of y'all is in solitude. Y'all needed to be there, but especially with this last. Because y'all was in something recently. Somebody, you know, broke your heart. You know, what you realize what you would do for them. They wouldn't do the same for you. The selfless act you give to them, you render to them. The, the, it wasn't. They didn't return the favor. Just put it that way. They didn't do what you know they didn't look out for you the way you looked out for them but through solitude is where you're going to be getting some form of download is what i'm hearing so they really urge you to meditate because this download is going to change your life your whole entire existence and if you don't do it willingly i'm hearing you're going to be forced to do it because some of y'all still having problems with well, not really problems, but just don't really want light meditating. That's <laughs> what I'm hearing. Nature. You need to go out in nature more. You also need a early morning sun. Meditating under the early morning sun will bring some form of download to you. That's going to help you moving forward. Higher perspection. Passion, something you're passionate about is about to just skyrocket, literally. You're about to do some greatness, some great things. People's going to start viewing you in a different way, in a different light. I'm hearing you need to start reading, taking several, um, like webinars of how to build more generation wealth because you are about to literally literally be wealthy out of your mind and this wealth that's coming in for you is you being you you're going to want to share it with everybody but they want you to you know be mindful of not everybody deserve it so that's why they want you to meditate so that you will know when to share that wealth because it's not they trusting you with this wealth it's for you, but it's also for you to also help those. But again, you're going to have people that come to you that they, they, can't, they can't eat with you. They can't eat off of you anymore. 
They are gonna come with a sad story, this, this, that, and the third, and your ancestor said, no, come with they ass. Cause what you didn't hear and what you didn't see, your ancestors heard and saw, you feel me? And they ain't like it because they know you ain't deserve it. They didn't understand you. They tried to use and abuse you. They didn't understand that you are the karma in their life. Now, how they treat you depends on how their future is going to, you know, happen for them moving forward. And they near future at that. If they treat you good, then the goodness that's with you, within you, will gravitate to them. But if they treat you bad, your karma, your, your, your ancestors going to have their ass. Again, not only... Not only um your ancestors, but they ancestors too, because of your pure heart, your pure soul. They just literally took advantage of your kindness. They thought they could you was easily manipulated. You also play dumb a lot, like you don't know nothing, but you know a whole lot more than them. They see you in a level of down here, but you really so far gone, so far up. Because you're spiritually disguised also. You know what I'm saying? You, didn't I just say karma? It depends on how they treat you. And this is karma. Ida Joe. Ida Joe. Ida Joe. I'm still learning how to speak African. Because, um, yeah, I'm in Africa right now. But <laughs> I'm heading there. You are their karma. Like I said, just said that. You are these people karma. The way they treat you determine on the type of karma they're going to get. Is it good karma or is it bad karma? It depends on how they treat you. It's like you are the last chance to get something right. And if they don't do it right, karma on their ass. Again, you need to go meditate, especially in nature. There's so much information about to come down through your crown chakra for you. Do a crown chakra meditation, do a, a third eye meditation, and do a, a heart chakra meditation. Also, I, hell, I think you should do the, all the meditation for your chakras because, you know, if one chakra is out of, out of alignment, then all your chakras will be out of alignment. But you're not really, you're not out of alignment at all. You just need to do more where that's concerned at. You know, because I, I'm feeling like you would do stuff and they would send you the sign and symbol, but you wouldn't realize what they was trying to tell you or show you until it literally just happened or just about to happen where you don't have a, the time to really change your mind and do something else. So by you meditating more, you will, you will be able to get it just like that before in a literally in a blink of an eye, then you literally one, two, three blink, you know? They don't want that with you no more. They want you to literally get it just like that in a mill millisecond. And look, this person, animals are literally drawn to you. You could have an animal or you may be coming in on some animal you be, or you're manifesting your own personal animals. You should visit the zoo for some of y'all. Something about animals and the zoo. Uh, um, yeah. Again, your intuition is on wipe me down. This person is getting downloads. Your crown chakra. Go and meditate that first morning sunlight. If you're able to sit outside somewhere, get that sun beaming on you. Father sun need a beam on you. You're going to get downloads because you're getting channeled messages. It's, it's, it's a lot, but you can handle it. If you couldn't handle it, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be given it. So don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your gift. You got this. You really, really, really got this. Um, let me get a, um, an animal card. Spirit animal, what do you have for the collective? I in the collective. This is such a beautiful reading. Woo, okay. <laughs> we got two. We got a dolphin. You need to play more. 
Real talk. Answers you seek is going to come through, pre to, through playing a childlike mentality. You can't be out here drill sergeant, you know, matrix world. No, you literally need to be in a playful, you know, mindset. Like, I'm seeing you playing with some sort of animal. You're connected to the animal kingdom. They're also protecting you. And with a dolphin, it says, swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. That's the message. Go with the flow. Play more. I'm also hearing you need to go visit some the beach, the river, the lake, somewhere where you could dive into. Or you could just take a spiritual bath, but I feel like it's more of uh, going to the ocean. You need to play more, being a childlike mentality. Like, you know, when we, you remember when you was a little child, you had a good childhood or not, but you had moments when you were as happy as a, as a child. You need to tap into your inner child and play more. And then we got the unicorn. Inf oh my God, this is beautiful. Infinity possibility. You are the, okay. Servant of the seen and unseen world. The magic of love sur surrounds you. Beauty transform you. Listen to the spirit of light. Abundance, abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. You are a legend. You are a living legend. You, you did the shit. You got, again, more butterflies out here. That's doing with transformation. You are literally tra being transformed. That's what I'm saying. You, how you see yourself is not how the world see you. Your whole body is about to go through a, uh, a, a different you, a different version of you, you know, your skin is going to be looking wow, you're going to be looking younger than you, than you really are, if you're too, if your weight is up, it's going to come down to a healthy weight, if your weight is too down, it's going to come up into a healthy come up, the, the infl inf infinite possibilities to you knows no end, like seriously, let me get one last one. This is beautiful. <laughs> Let me get one last one. Oh, too much. Way too much. We got the dog friend. Dogs is your best friend. So didn't I wish you were just talking about a dog? I see somebody, a dog came up to them. It's a pit bull. And you was, normally will be shook out your ass because what the fuck? But then in that moment, you wasn't afraid and the dog just kept moving. The dog had looking at you like this and then looking at you like that and just smiled and then turned around and walked off. I don't, that's, that, <laughs> I don't know who that's for, but that's beautiful. You know, dog. they say dogs are man best friends, right? Today, I will love without condition. Yes, and that's what you did, especially with these ancestors that's not a part of your bloodline. You love them even though they wasn't a part of your bloodline. You're a selfless soul that you was like, I don't want to only free my ancestors. I want to free other ancestors too. And that's what you did, you know? My energy and empathy are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. Yes, you are. Then I said earlier, I'm getting a friend energy that did you wrong and it hurted you, but you have to also remember that that person probably wasn't ready. What you bring, you challenge them, unknown to them, you challenge them to look deep and go deep within themselves. With this mirror being here, you challenge them to look deep within themselves to see who they are and taking stock of their life. And they just probably wasn't ready for change because, you know, some people are stuck in their ways. But it's not 
for you to sit there and dawn on them and force anything on them. You're just a messenger. Yeah, you're just a messenger. You did your part. Don't you you can't you're not out here to change nobody, force nobody into no type of change. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need to pace yourself for the change that are coming your way. There are all positive. Bigger and better things are coming for you. Just relax and trust. That's the um, angel message I just got from you. Pull for you. It, it sums up this reading. It really do. At the bottom of the deck, we got let go of old and make way for the new you may find yourself being distracted by random thoughts fears or doubt don't allow yourself to be governed by them simply observe and choose to take aligned action and choices and that's at the bottom of the deck you got this you got this let's see if any uh, particular signs come out to this reading all my cards are pre-shuffled, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Any signs, ancestors? Any signs? Okay, air sign. No? Water sign. So you could be a water sign. Pis oh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Especially with this dolphin being here. So a water sign. You could be a water sign or these individual that's on the other side of you. Because you on the other side of greatness. And they, they over there. You take the leap of faith and you listen to your ancestors and your intuition and your guides and everything. And you went and because of that and you being who you are, nothing but greatness is coming for you. So you got a water sign that's angry. I'm getting that. Very angry water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They angry with you. We got a Taurus. That's an earth sign. You could be a Taurus or they could be a Taurus. Number two. And then we got 24. That's a six. Uh, stubborn energy. I'm getting a stubborn energy. There's energy over here that's crying with a black cloud over their head. No matter where they go. This darkness is following them. Nothing great is happening to them. They realize screwing you over, end up screwing themselves over because messing with you is messing with the most high and that's who you work for. And they now realizing that I feel like you told them something and they didn't take your word because of who you are to them, the past you. They keep judging you from your past, not realizing you have evolved tremendously. What was I just talking about? Didn't I just say I'm getting Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, and Scorpio came out? You could be a Scorpio, or this person over here could be a Scorpio, or has Scorpio somewhere in their birth chart, or in your birth chart. Scorpio is highly, highly intuitive, too. Or I'm getting this grandmother or this mother, that's in the spirit, that's, that's the matriarch, or what's the matriarch for your bloodline, is a Scorpio, and was highly just, just loving on you right now. Real talk. Real talk. They're very happy with you. So this loved one, this female energy I'm picking up, a grandmother or a mother figure in the spirit world, could have been a Scorpio. They sun, moon, Rising North Node, Venus, Mars. And that's the number eight, eight again is infinity, infinity abundance. Yeah, that's what I have for you guys. 
That's what's up. I don't think anything. Yeah, that's it. I don't have nothing else. I'm not being told to pull on anything else. That's what I have for you guys. Like, your ancestors is highly, highly, highly proud of you. The matron, a mother, or a grandmother, or both, are very, very, very happy for you. And because of what you did, you have other spirits and ancestors in the spirit world that's praising them that like you did a good job raising this child right here you went through what you went through but that that didn't take away from you being who you are to this child and this child turned out to be a better virgin than any one of them is what i'm hearing whoa that is such an honor oh my god wow that's what I have for you guys. Be happy, be proud, be patient, meditate, meditate, and meditate. And oh yeah, don't forget to meditate, meditate, and meditate. You have a blessed day. I'd like to thank you, your warriors, my warriors, and this most high God for this beautiful reading. Your ancestors that came through, especially the ancestors that's not a part of your bloodline, just want, they came through and want me to tell you thank you because you literally changed they um this person mindset ways of thinking ways of being and for the better and because of that they're able to carry on what you was doing for their own personal bloodline that's what's up you have a blessed day now all night morning whenever you see this video